it's cool to find yourself in this space where you're sort of tripping through these questions of like, I don't want to design it like that, I want to design it like this. There's so much respect that is owed to so many people before me in the sense that like, there's this incredible resource of design that's already done. And I now have the privilege to put my thumbprint on it and say, here's my take. We are at my shop here in Humboldt, Fortuna, California. It's where I've been since like 2000, early 2018. That's where I spend all of my time. <laughs> the amount of hours that he's put in is over the top and crazy, sleeping at the shop sometimes. <laughs> it's almost comical, really. Yeah. When I'll get a thing, it's like, I just had an idea. I'm like, what are you doing at the shop at three in the morning? I had an idea, okay? <laughs> Fun fact, every single putter that's ever left my shop, I've washed with a toothbrush, so. Lots of miles on, on the toothbrushes. I actually started this as like a job shop. But like, how cool would it be to have this resource in Humble because they're, they're not really around here. It's because there's no demand for it here. There's this period of time like, man, is this really gonna be like a career path long-term that I'll be able to grow with? And you got all this equipment, you got all these tools, and I just started making putters for people, and I was like, I'm giving one to my friend, and then it slowly turned into this thing where, you know, a friend of theirs would ask for one. I remember having a conversation with my parents. They're like, well, how's everything going? You know, how's, how's the business doing? I'm like, hey, it's fine. Um, making putters and they're like okay well what happens when you like run out of friends there's no way you can stay busy making putters I know, that's what everybody's response was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and i'm like oh no i think i think it's like bigger than that like i really do it was just like floods of emails for like orders for putters which was exciting because now all of a sudden not only did i have customers but i had a wait list i had a demand for my product and i had to tell people no you need you know hold on i'm too busy which was like the first moment of like, oh, this works. And then it was the business model. In the summertime, I think Logan was probably about eight. And when he went first out to play golf with Papa, her dad is like <laughs> this um, extreme figure. They would play like 54 holes. Cause in his 60s. It was such a cool thing to be able to play and spend time with your grandparents but also, you know, learn a game that can give back for a lifetime. It's been fun with some of these athletes where, you know, Scotty, for example, so much time has been spent with him. And now, Scotty Scheffler, and he's got a, a custom new putter in his bag. And another good putt. Good putting performance out of him today. This is one of the earlier putters that I did for Scotty with a uh, modular system, and so that flange unbolts and so you could try different flange widths and then there were three different faces so you could try three different sort of feels and sounds. All these boxes are sort of remnants of pieces along the way that I've either saved as bookmarks in case things need to be revisited. With putters it's just it's been a exchange of a canvas that has a lot of freedom for me. There's just so many ways that you could take it I do enjoy the problem solving side of it because it's this little bit of a switch where a lot of the creative nature of making these putters goes from designing really unique things to solving unique problems. So just making sure that everything gets like the total once over. And I like to think that I probably inspect it more than the customer will. So if there's something that I'm gonna catch, maybe they won't, but there's definitely not something that they're gonna catch that I won't. A lot of the line work or logos or finishing that I do typically has some version of either asymmetric lines or shapings. Like Frank Lloyd Wright, so much of the furniture work that he does has similar line work. One of the things that can be challenging for me is sometimes other voices, as far as like um, design thoughts, sometimes they're extremely distracting because I, I tend to be very like, uh, like, I think a lot about stuff and it'll only take somebody to say one thing and pretty soon I'm like off in the weeds coming up with something crazy. The amount of times that Logan's come up to me, I'm very excited. Hold on. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever made. <laughs> And he like hands me, check it out. I'm really looking at it. He's like, mm. and then like, um, like literally three weeks later or a week oh. later, a week later. Yeah. Get, you know what? Scratch that. That was terrible. <laughs> this is so this much is better. This is the best thing. The cadence of this place is so much slower than like the rest of California. 
I mean, there's areas north of us that are the same, but you're always like about a century behind. And so whatever is cool in other places, we're always like behind because it's just so detached. And you know, I think that it's real easy to forget how like lucky we are to be in this space. There's just so little distraction uh, in the sense of just other things happening that you can really get pretty proficient at what you're doing here. It's like a wonderland here if you're into being outside and doing things outside, like hiking, climbing, surfing, whatever, biking. It should be pretty good today. We've had like almost two weeks of pretty solid weather. Excuse me. Biking is just such a good way to get away from the typical like work day. It's just so different. That's not you guys, is it? Someone's running a drone. It's a great way to totally like blank all that out because it's like you can't think about anything except for trying to like not hit that tree that's right in front of you or not die. Well, I was Logan's teacher and um, he and I kind of had this old CNC machine and when he graduated he's like, you think I can use that machine to make a little wooden putter? I said sure. The level that he's brought it to is is more of an artistry where you don't really see that in CNC world. You see like production, get it done, crank it out. It blows my mind where he's at compared to where he started. I, uh, I remember being like maybe seven or eight and my grandpa got me an erector set. I would just go nuts. That erector set. Oh, I hated that thing because I was always stepping on all the parts. Yeah, it was a diabolical, dare say it, in the middle of the night if you had to pee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, my, my dad would be proud and my dad's dad would be proud, you know. The, Towards the end of like Grandpa Eric being with us, he looked at me and he said, like, I couldn't be more proud of where he is now and I'm glad he did it. Everybody always has everyone's back, no matter what. You're not gonna quit till you succeed, that's it. <laughs> Logan's a very it's spiteful a... person. He <laughs> will uh, he will make sure that he accomplishes something, if especially if you tell him it's not possible. Yes. Yeah, it just means if, if you're having trouble, it just means you gotta work harder. It's just trying to bring that energy and bring that sort of passion towards what you're doing to execute in the same space without complacency. You know, you don't get comfortable, you don't decide I've made it, you don't decide this is how I'm gonna do things, it's this ever exchanging, I wonder if there's more on the table, I wonder if I can do this better, I, I will do this better. It's your duty to act on it almost, otherwise things just don't happen. The small batch has been cool because it's been sort of the ability to take a lot of the learning that's been happening with the tour players and then also give me some freedom to do some cooler, more unique things than just trying to create some like really mass produced product that would have to sort of sacrifice some of that um, design language that makes it sort of more true to me. So I hope that people can stay excited and come on board and benefit from a lot of the learning that I've been able to be fortunate to be a part of. Um, but at the same time, connect them with this brand in a way that feels unique and special for them too.